Your justification hinges on the level of force. We're the Armed Attorneys. Our mission is to make life easier for the law-abiding gun owner by providing fast and factual gun law explanations. Today we're talking about the difference between force and deadly force in Texas, and stick around till the end for our pro tip on whether pointing a gun is a use of force or deadly force. And before we get started, please show your support for the Second Amendment by hitting the like button. To start things, we need to say, how does the law categorize force and deadly force in the state of Texas? Really, it's two big buckets. And the first one we have is force, which isn't defined under Texas law, but from court cases and knowing what deadly force, which is defined, we can kind of arrive at it by, by kind of deduction. And it's, it's think about punching, grabbing, tackling, restraining someone, you know, some kind of force that would hurt, maybe leave a mark, some compulsion, some restraint, some threat. Uh, but we know that it wouldn't cause serious bodily injury or death. It wouldn't cause permanent disfigurement. It wouldn't cause permanent scarring. It wouldn't cause protracted loss of a uh, limb or you know any organ of the body. And it wouldn't cause the person to die. So when we're talking about force, that's really what we're talking about. And when I talk to clients and I try to imagine and I say, you know, think, punch, grab, tackle, restrain, push. And that's what we talk about when we talk about a use of force. Now, moving over to deadly force, that is defined in yeah, so deadly force is force that's capable of causing serious bodily injury or death. Um, not that it does, that it's capable of. So, you know, I mean, it, interestingly, and I think when we talk about firearms, if you shoot at someone but you miss them, that's deadly force because that shot was capable of causing serious bodily injury or death, even though it didn't. Yeah, and why it's so important is it comes down to justification. Texas law allows the use of force in response to unlawful force. And Texas law allows the use of deadly force in response to unlawful deadly force. So knowing what type of force is being used against you is very important. If someone was to threaten you with unlawful force and you responded with deadly force, that could, you could lose your justification under the law. And vice versa, if you were to be threatened with deadly force and the law would allow you to respond with deadly force in response, you know, assuming all things being equal. But that kind of brings us to our pro tip of the day and whether the display of a firearm constitutes a use of deadly force. Texas Penal Code 9.04 specifically addresses this and says that pointing your firearm, displaying a firearm is a use of force, not deadly force, so long as it's done to stop a threat or deter a threat or stop a situation from escalating. Sounds great. Problem is that most prosecutors have never heard of this penal code section. And not only that, Pointing a gun, if there's a question about whether or not you're justified, it's always going to get you charged with a felony offense. Even though um, we have this great little section in the penal code, it's wonderful. Um, it's something that goes into our jury instructions. But is it going to stop you from being arrested, prosecuted? And are we going to have to teach the prosecution about this penal code? Probably. And it's probably not going to stop arrest and prosecution in a case that's not entirely cut and dried. Well, we hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, consider subscribing and hitting that like button and help us fight the anti-2A algorithm by sharing this video. And as always, please question and comment below. Until next time, we're the Armed Attorneys.